All right, people, here we are. Little Susie, that's my little Hyundai. She's an 04 model, and she's almost 20. We're going to celebrate almost a 20-year birthday with her here soon. Two more years, she'll be uh, 20 years old. Uh, you want to take a look at her, don't you? As you see, she's pretty clean inside. And uh, the one situation you'll notice, and uh, don't look at that hood, people. Don't look at that. That's a clean situation. Now look at this deal. Little Susie, the best thing about her is you're looking at it. That right there is a five speed. And with that five speed comes good gas mileage. And uh, I would say three quarters of the planet wouldn't be able to steal this car. If you're not born uh, before 1987, you ain't stealing this car, people, for the most part. She's got airbags, okay? She's got a nice radio. The radio's nice. That's one thing you must have on a, on a nice automobile. She's my little go-getter now. She's my little situation that says, if you want to get to the uh, airport and you want to get there safely, now there you go. Well, what we've encountered with little Susie was the gas tank was bad. We had a spot on the old tank right here in the front that had a blister in it and it was weeping hole out. Or, and that hole was weeping out uh, gas, which also leaks out pressure. Okay. And uh, the other thing I want to tell you, you've got what's in these tanks. Now, I had to put this one in for my old one. This is a little spring valve in here. And what that's for is if your vehicle flips over, your gas won't just uh, pour all over. It's a safety device. Now, that being said, if you have problems with your, with your uh, tank when you're filling it up and it only wants to fill real slow or real tediously, it, it's, it keeps shutting off, that's probably that valve right there that's bad, okay? It's probably that valve. Now, mine's good. I haven't had no issues with it. But as you see, I've transferred over the old uh, hardware. I've checked the hoses, put some new clamps on there, and uh, we have a brand new uh, fuel pump that ain't that many years old it's only a couple years old all this hardware has been checked okay now this is the part here this little electrical connection I'm going to show you that in a minute and this is the uh, gas supply uh, or supply to the engine right there and I'm going to show you that in a minute but this came with new o-rings it's all secured and as you see this liquid on top right here this is fluid film people let me get right down there and show you what I'm talking about this is fluid film Okay, down on the bottom, there is no fluid film. You see how clean that is? There's nothing here. But up top, that ripply, ripply stuff right here like this, that you, the DIYer, can do to your own vehicles if you buy the kit. And what that says is, we'll never have to put another tank in this old girl. Now, when you get these tanks, I bought this off of uh, car parts.com or something like that rock auto sent me one and it was the wrong one people it was the wrong one they make two different uh, styles and one is in the the bolt pattern is bigger on this one it's it's bigger but when you turn around and check these out like this i want you to see something here let me find it over here they drop the tank when they throw it in them cardboard boxes whether it's a ups guy or who and they bent this all down take a pair of pliers and straighten this up okay you straighten that up that little ridge right there you see where they weld it but these here these were all bent down right here over here cameraman these right here were all bent and folded from being in the box you take a pair of pliers and you go ahead and fix them but the situation is you want to cover them with fluid film so they don't rust out the other thing I noticed and I'm not going to send the tank back but I don't know if you can see it there's a little ding right here. Now, that's not cut through, but obviously something hit that. So we'll just go ahead and dab that like this. That fluid film will creep right in there. Now that's not a hole, but I'll, I would send it back if it was. But look at this. We've got the new EVAP canister in, okay? And one of these lines right here, this one runs from the EVAP canister. You see where it's gray? I pulled this line off and I took a, uh, a sanding tool 
my air tool and I cleaned it all off. There was a little bit of rust on there. I wanted to make sure there was no holes in it. And then I turned around and uh, sprayed it with some self-etching primer. And of course, that's going to get some fluid film. But this one here, you see this little rubber spot? This is a rubber connection. It was separated and that clamp was all rusted out. I wanted to make sure that connection was good. So I put a new clamp on here. Now this is a clamp from a plumbing situation. I cut it down and bent it over so that it, but it's secure. You can see that. It ain't going nowhere. And then what I did was I went to the store and I got me uh, these uh, high pressure gas lines. Not that this is high pressure. This is just for evap. But uh, these are really good clamps. They don't have them cuts in them. And I clamped that down. But let me show you here. This hose used to be a metal line. Okay. And I've got it secured. I got it secured here where they where it goes in. And I got it secured here. And then, of course, this was all rusted out, this metal line. So I don't need any breaches there. You'll get an EVAP code too. So I wound up putting it in there. And this is all really good. So I fluid film that. And then it goes down the rail of your car. And this is all in good shape. But I'm going to still fluid film all that. And here's where those uh, those straps go in. Okay, and I'm going to hit all this area before I put this tank in. I'm going to hit all this area with fluid film. And here's some little like rubber bumpers where the tank sits up against. And it looks like I had one of my rubber pieces fall out here. So I'm going to have to fluid film that and put a rubber cap in there. That might be where the darn mice were trying to get in. You got to cover everything up up north, people. These animals and these rodents try to settle in for the winter. But uh, this is Bri. I'm over here, and I'm on my back, and I'm laying down, and I'm doing a job, and I'm doing it right. And uh, this car is going to give me a few more years, okay? We're not done with her. And I'll say that right now. We are not done with this car by, by a long stretch. We need to at least get uh, a different situation in this country before I start buying different stuff. Because right now, it's, uh, it's tough, people. You're out there trying to look for a vehicle. But anyway, here's the other thing I want to show you about these Hyundais. You remove the this is right below the uh, the rear seat. You remove that lower seat with two little clips, and uh, this is the electrical part that plugs into the pump, and this is the supply line. You just push that blue blue connector in, and it pops off and pops on. And the nice thing about this, this isn't screwed down. This just has like a tar. You press it back into place when you're done. But this thing here, as you see, it comes right up. Um, and then if you ever need to change your fuel pump, you see how that's bit, it's opened up like that. You just pull that cover off, you can pull the whole fuel assembly out without lowering your tank. That is the one beautiful thing that them Koreans did to, that they designed on these uh, Hyundais. I'm not sure if the Kias are like that, but these Hyundais are built smart. And I'll be honest with you, after looking at even the Hondas and stuff on lately, I think Honda has went has lost its edge, and, and Hyundai has actually... They've been doing things with excellence for so many years now that they're, I would say they're, in my opinion... As high, or if not higher, than a Honda. So, you make your decision, but as you see, oh, here's the other thing. The whole exhaust system's brand new. It's brand new. So, I'm, I'm fixing to take this in for New York State inspection. I've got the, as you see, the whole exhaust is brand new. Right back to the muffler. And I got new front rotors and pads on this, so. And no other uh, engine lights were kicking on. So, we're going to make sure this tank gets put in. And we are going to make sure, excuse me, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. And we're going to make sure that this tank gets done right. And uh, we're going to, as you see, we fluid filmed it. So that's the deal there. And let me show you some of these other parts that I pulled off, okay? Now here's that little sanding tool I used. It gets in real good. And uh, as you see, look. Any of these little spots, see how this was normally painted? Any of these little spots could be a situation that has a little tiny hole that would make, a, make your engine light come on. And then, and then what you do is the mechanics in there say, yeah, well, we got to replace all the lines. We got to do all this. We got to do all that. And pretty soon you're talking, they're giving you an estimate of $1,000. And, uh, you know, a lot of older cars are just not worth putting that kind of money into. But here's the other deal, right? Now, I ordered... New straps, but the other straps were the wrong ones. So I said, I ain't got really time to order other ones. So I sanded these all down. Okay, and this is a little rubber strip that goes on here. Originally, and it kept, it fell off. Okay, it had water under it and it corroded it. So as you see right here, I don't know if you can see that little spot. 
but that's silicone a little clear silicone so now you see it ain't gonna fall off when I install them but I, I went ahead and I put a I sanded them all down and I put a self-etching primer on there and the reason I didn't paint them people is uh, to be truthful with you uh, they're gonna get fluid filmed okay this is just to take the blunt of the uh, bare metal off of it and that fluid film is gonna be better than actual actual paint to be honest with you but uh, that's the deal and uh, we'll keep you posted when we get her running and we get her inspected so all right this is Bry I'm over here at the compound and I'm trying to get her ready for the winter because this is going to be my winter rat. We are definitely not driving that uh, Tacoma through the snow and salt. We're not going to put her through that because she's in really, really good shape. And uh, that's a situation. That that's, a, that's a Texas truck. I don't know if you can see it back there. And uh, I got that from my brother, and that's kind of sentimental to me. So at, the, at a certain point, I don't want to uh, just destroy it. Even though I fluid film it, I don't want to run it through the snow. So uh, it'll be on the road, but we're not going to put it through all that. And uh, we're going to let little Susie keep doing what she do she does, and we're going to run her through the paces this winter. And we're going to smile every time we go by a state trooper or a sheriff, knowing that we have a good system. We don't have any engine lights on. We don't have any uh, inspection stickers. We're dodging the cops, okay? I've done that for several years now. And uh, at the end of the day, we're trying to get her done right, people. All right, this is Brian. I'm over here at the compound. We're getting the tank done. I'm out.